Someone who I have called a TJPW show with Veda, it's the ace of TJPW. <laughs> stranger to Trisha Dora has defeated her not once, but twice in a prestige wrestling ring. Once in singles competition at Perseverance, once in a three-way dance at Roseland Five. You gotta think third time is the charm for Trish Adora. You really don't want to go down in the series 3-0. Only one team has done it in NBA history. Someone who we have been very privileged to see here in Prestige Wrestling steps into a bright style ring in her own hometown. Veda, I know you are a big, big fan of one Afro punk Trisha Dora. I mean, I would argue that this is a very different version of Trisha Dora than me and Macha has ever faced before, and particularly the last time, or the only time they faced off in singles competition, Trish. Trisha has just been on this meteoric rise. We've seen her in New Japan, as you mentioned. But yeah, this is a this is a different version of Trish, and perhaps a different version of Miyu Yamashita. What a role she's been on as of late. And a show of respect. We talk about Trish's time in Ring of Honor, the code of honor abided by here, Marco. What a way to end. Well, not yet. But and a beautiful night of wrestling yeah, here Marco, in Las Vegas. This is a main event to, anywhere in the world. Exactly. And we're getting this ourselves. Exactly. Main event. I could not ask for a better night at work. Two fabulous commentators, two fabulous wrestlers in the ring, and a hell of a good time to be had here tonight. This is always where Trish really excels with that technical wrestling. But Mia Yamashita, no slouch. In the technical game, whoa. You gotta think Trish has to rely on that technical acumen, Veda Miyu Yamashita. No doubt relying on the striking game. She is in fact called the pink striker for a reason. Yamashita As just- you can see, just winding up there. <laughs> just was announced that Miyu Yamashita is gonna be challenging for the TNA Knockouts Championship in just about a week, and that is huge. I believe that Yamashita is on a little bit of an excursion right now, and you have to imagine that if she starts picking up titles along the way, she's gonna stay even longer. So, you know, that's good for everybody. Except for maybe Trisha Dora. Yeah, exactly. Well, again, Trisha Dora falling to Miyu Yamashita on two occasions here in Prestige Wrestling. Once at Perseverance, again at Roseland Five in a three-way dance that also included Liza Hall. So if you're the Afropunk, what do you have to do to not make this a clean sweep? Well, I think Trisha has been doing absolutely the right thing in terms of training with the New Japan Academy, taking on stiffer and stiffer competition, but with just one kick, Yamashita turns it around. Setting her up for that devastating skull kick. And the crowd loving every second of it. Such a pleasure to have Mia Yamashita here in Vegas competing for Pride Style for the very first time. As they're just Whoa. duking it out of the apron here. Again, those strikes lethal, Veda. Yamashita, she's not done yet. Maybe thinking PK. Lining up. Goes oh. the penalty kick and go lasso. 
to knock the wind out of Trisha Dora. Oh, and Yamashita at this point keeping Trish on the outside. Oh! Sent face first into the post. The post getting a lot of work today. Again, Veda, you can attest to it better than us. Head first into a solid steel post. What does that do to the equilibrium? Whoa! I mean, it's really turned this match around and kept Trish on the run. She's trying to keep a little distance here, but that's going to be impossible with Yamashita right there. Wait a second, Trish. She's making a little opening for herself. Whoa! Oh. Nice knee strikes. Mio Yamashita saw the strategy. She scouted it and she stopped it here. Adora running for recluse in the ring, but Mio Yamashita staying right on top of her. Mio now in control. Again, Veda, you talk about the excursion of Miyu Yamashita. She's really blown up as a member of the American independent wrestling scene, challenging for the TNA Knockouts oh. Championship. That all began here in Prestige Wrestling. Her very first non-TJBW North American booking was here in Prestige Wrestling. In many ways, a second home for the big striker. Yeah, it's really been a long journey for Miyu in terms of breaking out in the United States. And also, part of her goal is to just bring awareness of TJPW as well. She does exactly that every time she's in the ring. In fact, Trisha Dora herself has even toured with Tony Joshi. And a kick out from Adora. Saw both of these competitors in action at Combat Princess USA. You and I were on the call this past December, Veda. Available to watch now. Stream the replay on Wrestle Universe or IWTV. Yamashita. After this. Huge slam there. He didn't Yamashita. even break the hole. Yeah, again, Yamashita staying on top of Trisha Dora. Such limb control from the pink striker. You talk about the often oh. cover. But stays right on top of her again. The often underestimated, overlooked technical game of Yamashita on full display. Oh, huge knee to the back of the head from Trish. Oh. Again, cover. even the roll up. Trisha Dora's fire! Oh. Oh. Strikes of her own, a big boot from Trish. This is where Trish is always gonna win the power game. Uh-oh. Nice. Cover. And a kick out from Yamashita. Trisha Dora looking to put this one away quick. Trisha Dora, no doubt, setting Yamashita up for that Lariat Tubman, no doubt. We're gonna finish this one as quickly as she can. Some uh, hip attack, some hip-based offense. Innovative hip-based offense there. Trish had a handful of hair to drag Yamashita in a position. Oh, she's holding on to the bridge. Kick out there from Yamashita. Again, last time we saw Trish here in Prestige Wrestling was back at Roseland 8. Oh, she, oh look at this, a cattle mutilation cinched in from Trisha Dora. Center of the ring. Mutilation, wow. But Yamashita's in trouble. Look at the bridge trying to keep that leverage there. Yamashita is square, dead center in the ring. Oh, go. And has the arms hooked, the hands hooked there. You gotta loosen it there. That's the most important part. It's keeping all the pressure on the back of the arms, the neck, the back there. Mia managed to shift her hips, but Trish is still holding on. Cranking those chicken wings. Mia Yamashita back on her feet, regains a vertical base. Oh! oh. Baited Trish in. Trisha Tora, maybe feeling a little disrespected at the see of Miu. Here's the explosiveness of Yamashita on full display. Yeah. Again, as I was saying, last time we saw Trisha Dora here in Prestige was back at Roseland 8, lost to Amira. Take nothing away from the Tower of Power, but I mean, uh, Dora, excuse me, with years of experience on her side, still fell to Amira, and no Whoa. doubt a win against Yamashita would get her that much lauded momentum. Yamashita herself, though, is in the process of trying to rebuild, like she said, we said she's challenging for the TNA Knockout Championship. She just recently lost the Princess of Princesses title. Now with this trip to the United States, oh, she's looking to stay on the winning side of things. Cover. And a kick out, but Yamashita herself was victorious at Roseland 8 against Smiley Kylie Ray. So maybe the mental edge, if nothing else, here not against Sedora. 
Trish is using the ropes to pull herself up. Looking lost in the middle of the ring there. Waist lock applied. Yamashita getting reversed now. Whoa! Hip attack of her own. Oh! oh! Crash rabbit hit! Hold it, Trish! Cover! No! Somehow still not enough. Gonna need to make a dentist appointment after that one. Vader, we talk about the technical game. Whoa! Look at this! Basement Sherman suplex! Hello, boy, suplex! Oh. Just a two! Mate, if you're Trisha Dora, what do you have to do right now? You got that suplex, but it's gonna take a lot more than that. Adora hasn't had the chance to unleash Lariat Tubman yet. That's usually a match ender, but you can say the exact same thing about the skull kick. So at this point, it's really just a matter of avoiding contact. Yamashita barely phased. Oh, huge body kick there. Oh, oh no! My God. Wow! You can see the grimace on Yamashita's face. See, you could hear that thud, man. Another big body kick. Adora, a legitimate army veteran. Tough as nails is the Afropunk. And the kicks to the chest just as tough. Oh, oh this time, Trish. There. You want to able to duck out of the way? Whoa. Let's go for the skull kick, Veda. Trish rolls her up. No. Whoa. Shoulders down again. Covers fast and furious. We are getting into deep water here, Marco. Deep water indeed. Now Yamashita trying to stop the reversal coming. Spinning oh! back kick to the face. Trisha Dora down to the ground. Cover! And the win! Victory for Miyu Yamashita. All it took was the skull kick, and that was lights out for the Afro Punk. Thus far, one professional wrestler has kicked out of the skull kick. Miyu Yamashita back on the winning side of things. Once again, skull kick sealing the deal. But give it up for Trisha Dora. Yamashita's trying to show. There we go, Yamashita saying they gotta do it one more time. Miyu Yamashita with the clean sweep on Trisha Dora here in Prestige Wrestling. But I don't know, man, Superman 4 Crust for Peace or otherwise, I would not mind running this one back. Not at all heavy hitting action that did not disappoint the Pride Style and Prestige faithful.